Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on the game. So if you remember from the previous tutorial we created the button attack event and whenever you click attack it will um, attack the enemy. So let's go ahead come up here to form 1 and whenever form 1 loads we'll just go ahead and set progress bar Popeye dot value equals hero dot health and you can see that health doesn't show up right there so we need to come over here to um, the Popeye class and we need to create a public property so public property health as integer go ahead and and hit enter and if we just type set we get set and our get now these can be in any order you would like so in our case we have set before so whenever we get it we will return int health and whenever we set it value or no int health will equal value so now that we have our health property Let's go ahead, come back into form1.vb, and you can see that um, this works fine. So whenever they use their spinach, what we want to do is we want to update this um, label right here. So we'll come back into form1.vb, and once it takes off the spinach, we will just type, we will just set the label, so label spinach left dot text is going to be equal to spinach left and then we'll go ahead and add int spinach dot to string so we just convert it to a string to display it on the uh, form so if you remember remember from the previous tutorial um, if the health drops below zero we will get an error and it the program will freeze up and stop working because a progress bar, bar cannot have a value of less than zero so we'll just go ahead and use an if statement or not an if statement let's go ahead and use a try uh, statement so try it's gonna go ahead and try to set this prog progress bar and we'll go ahead and catch that exception so if we get an exception saying it's below then what we want to do um, is tell the user that they have one so we will just type messagebox.show Popeye has one and after we've shown that what we want to do is generate another enemy so we'll just generate enemy there so that the user has a new enemy to uh, fight once he has one so let's go ahead and try this out and see if everything works fine so you can see that we have both progress bars are at their fullest and let's go ahead and attack you can see that it takes away some health we can attack again we can keep attacking we can use spinach um, and you can see that it says we have two left then we have one left then we have zero left and you can see that it says Popeye has one now let's go ahead and if spinach left equals zero then we'll just disable this radio button so we will go ahead and come down here to button attack and if it's checked and int spinach is equal to zero uh, I mean greater than zero then we'll do that but else if int spinach equals zero then what do we want to do we want to type radio spinach dot enabled equals false so we'll go ahead and run this we can use spinach so one two we We've got one left and we've got zero left you can see that it's going to disable it for us but it disabled it after so what we what we need to do is let's go ahead and copy this right here and we will put it as the first thing that happens when this button is clicked so 
if int spinach equals zero, then what do we want to do? Well, we will just go ahead and uncheck that radio button. So radio spinach dot checked equals false. So it's going to uncheck it for us, and then we'll go ahead and disable it. Dot enabled equals false. So we will take this out right here. And now let's go ahead and run this. And you can see that we've got use spinach. We got two left. We got one left. We got zero left. And then if we click it, it disables it and unchecks it for us. And you can see that the enemy still has some health left. So if we keep attacking, it says Popeye has one. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to have the enemy fight back after every time it has been attacked. So we'll come over here to our toolbox and let's go ahead and add a timer. So we'll go ahead and look for one. Here's a timer right here. And we will minimize the toolbox. So here's our timer. We want to set the name to timer delay and we'll set the interval to one second or 1000 milliseconds so let's go ahead and double click on timer delay tick and so whenever they attack what we want to do is we want to start the timer so we will just type timer delay dot start so the timer is going to start every time they attack but we need to enclose this inside of this try catch statement so that if the enemy has been defeated it won't start that timer so now whenever the timer click um, whenever the timer ticks what we want to do is um, make the enemy attack 